lumber town. A worker's town. Since its incorporation in 1890, logging and lumber milling have been the economic lifeline of Shelton, Washington. Through the decades, this community has rode the tides of the logging industry, ebbing and flowing with each expansion and reduction. The result? A tightly knit community, capable of adapting to an ever-changing environment. In 1968, Olympic College offered its first classes in Shelton, which were taught at Shelton High School. But that's all we had, was just a, a, a rented classroom. So, uh, Wallace Simpson, Wally Simpson, was the president of Olympic College, and uh, uh, the board and I uh, talked to him very strongly about the need for retraining in, in uh, Mason County. And uh, there weren't funds available through the state, uh, and we decided that, the community decided, that we could do this ourselves. We could, we could find the land. O.C. Shelton has relocated no less than four times. That all came to an end in 1995, when the college moved to its permanent home on Alpine Way. The relocation effort began in 1990 with a groundswell of public support for a campaign dubbed Building for Our Future, which raised $1.5 million to help fund the new facility. Building for Our Future was largely a community-driven, grassroots endeavor by people like former state representative Doug San, who believed that Shelton greatly needed a college presence. The group prevailed, despite a lack of financial support from state legislature. Well, there was one over here and another over there. You know, it was that kind of a college. Tried to say, let's get it so it feels and looks like a college. We really, really got it done. And we were thrilled when we got this college up and running. This project was aided by a significant land contribution from Simpson Lumber, which at the time was one of the largest logging operations in the nation. Today, Simpson's forest land is managed by Green Diamond Resource Company. The fundraisers were so proud of the fact that they did this. Our thinking is, let's provide a systemic education for these young people who are destined to work in the woods, maybe on the seashore, somewhere in the environment. The transformation of O.C. Shelton continued in 2003 with the completion of the Johnson Library, named after longtime Mason County resident and entrepreneur Wes Johnson, who gifted part of his estate to the college in honor of his deceased wife. In 2004, the transformation was complete with the remodeling of the main Shelton campus, thanks in part to funding secured by then U.S. Congressman Norm Dix. The newly remodeled facility was named the Palmer Student Center in memory of Dean Palmer, a professional photographer in the Shelton-Mason County area. He was also president of Friends of Olympic College Shelton, a group that was instrumental in generating support for the new campus. Uh, Dean Palmer, he was uh, a very active guy. Deceased now. Uh, it worked hard at raising funds, but raising awareness was even the greater thing. That was what we had to do. And yes, we all did, just as Don did. He went out and talked to groups and, uh, that had to be, or it would never have been successful. Today, OC Shelton is a vital part of the region's academic and economic revitalization. The college recently received funds from the Bremer Trust to construct a new welding shop on the main Shelton campus. The college continues to expand its offerings thanks to a recent partnership with Mason Transit Authority. OC is offering several courses at the State of the Arts Transit Community Center. I enjoy seeing the students come in the door initially. Um, they're not quite sure what they want to do. They start taking classes and before you know it, they're graduating and you just get a feel of, of you feel we, a, a rewarded. I think it's great that um, it's here for the high school students to be a part of the Running Start program. I feel that it's great that we don't have to drive to Bremerton or Olympia to attend college, so. I would say that um, they should definitely take advantage of any opportunity to come back to school. There's never a right time for any major change in life, but um, getting your education is such a great opportunity. Um, having 
your degree is something that you will always have and will only help you with uh, opportunities and growth in your future. Um, people who want to go back to school, even if they're just doing it at one, you know, one course at a time, have the option to do that and can afford it. That's also the beauty of the community college system is the affordability. And uh, also the more personalized attention, you know, at the four-year institutions, you have classes that are entry-level classes with four or five hundred kids in them, and where the community colleges usually have thirty. <laughs> Big difference, and and not so intimidating. Close to home, don't have to move away from home. Workforce development is really important in Mason County because. Uh, the employment picture varies. They come, industries come and they go. There's a lot of unemployment, sometimes short-term unemployment, but there's a lot of re, retraining that needs to be done, and I think OC is perfectly positioned to do that. Another thing, after working for 24 years in the Shelton School District and seeing so many of our young people quit after the 12th grade, it was important to me to see if there's anything I could do to help build the bridge between the Shelton School District and OC to make it much more likely that the kids were going to continue their education into higher ed. Olympic College has served Shelton and Mason County for nearly 50 years and will continue to do so for decades to come. This would not be possible without support from the community, including the Friends of Olympic College, who were instrumental in funding construction of this campus. Citizens of Mason County are somewhat isolated and place-bound, and many of them would not be able to access higher ed if it were not uh, for Olympic College being right in their community. So it's, a, again, a vital part of the mission of Olympic College, and uh, Shelton is an important uh, community, and the citizens there really value uh, Olympic College. Uh, the state has put very little money into building that campus. It's been done by the uh, local community. We're extremely grateful to them and, and they own it. They have their fingerprints all over that campus. Uh, even the welding building that's, that's funded not by state dollars but the Bremer Trust has donated $1.3 million to put that building up. So it's, it's literally, literally grassroots, uh, homegrown and supported by the, the local people. It's been a sense of pride for them, especially because many of them have been directly involved in the fundraising efforts for this campus, so they saw the vision. I don't think we really had to uh, sell them on this notion of the importance of higher education, but they really embraced it. They got behind key members in the community to participate in those fundraising efforts. Uh, just the value and the benefit to a community is tremendous when you talk about adding higher education. To me, it's all about the community, and although uh, Olympic College doesn't have community in its name, we truly are an extension of the, our community. It's our neighbors, it's our friends, it's those that uh, we go to school with. That, uh, again, it's all about uh, changing lives and strengthening our community, so I see that as a natural way that we can uh, play our part or serve that role in the community by uh, making sure that uh, we're relevant, uh, not just today, but in the future. We look forward to continued growth through programs that meet the needs of this community. And we thank each and every one of you who made this campus a reality. I hope that message gets out because um, I'm, really, I'm really excited about what's happening with the, expand, the growth of that campus. We've got a wide range of students great whenever they come back to you and they shake your hand and say, Ron, I got a job, I'm over here. And I'm like, all right, it worked, it paid off.